Welcome to day one of the 90 days data analytics training where we'll talk about the introduction to data and data analysis. Before we move into the practical aspects of using Excel or using SQL, this series is going to train you to understand the in-depth concept of data and data analysis itself. With my years of experience with data analysis, I've realized that a lot of people are only focused on the software tools they have to learn to become a data analyst. Software tools like Excel, SQL, Tableau, Power BI, but they don't really know how to solve problems using data. And in this series, I'm going to solve that problem. If you follow this series from the beginning to the end, at the end of the 90 days, you will not only know how to analyze data using the software tools, you're going to understand business concepts. How do you solve a business problem? How do you solve a business question? How do you solve problem with data? That is what this series is going to walk you through alongside learning the actual software tools that you use in problem solving. So let's get straight into the first part of the video. Let's talk about data. What is data? Before we go into explaining what data analysis is, we have to understand what data itself is. Data in simple terms are raw facts, right? A video of me recording right now could be a form of data. And a lot of people believe that data are numbers only because they are data analysts, they believe that data is just numbers. No, that is very wrong. Data could be in form of numbers. For example, I can come back to this video and check how many people watch the video. That is a form of data. I can keep a record saying that for the day one data analytics challenge, the total number of people that watch this video is so, so, so number. All right. So that is data in form of number. We could have data in form of picture as well. If I smile and I take a picture, that is also data. That is a picture of me smiling. If I'm crying and I take a picture, that is a picture of me crying. So that is also data. Data could also be in form of videos. For example, the tutorial I'm making right now is another form of data, right? So, so data could be in form of numbers, pictures, videos, observation, and so on. Another misconception that we have is people calling data information. They are two different things. Data is the raw fact, right? When data is processed, that is when it becomes information, right? When they ask you that what is data and or what is the difference between data and information, data are raw facts. Information is processed data. Now let's talk about the sources of data. Where do we get data from? That's just what it means. Where do we get data from? We have two places that we get data from. We get it from the primary source and also the secondary source. What do we mean by primary source? Primary source is when you are the one that collected the data yourself. You collect the data first and that is what we call primary source of data. So let's take for example, I want to carry out a survey to get the average salary of people in my city. I could send out a survey and I'm going to get responses. This is a primary source of data because I was the one that sent out the survey because I was the one that got the data set that I need for analysis. In summary, primary data is the, the data set you get first hand. Secondary source of data on the other hand is a data set that you get from publications, from government database. You did not collect the data basically, that's what it sums up to. You are not the originator of that data, you were not the one that collected the data. So that is a secondary source of data. Now that we understand what data is, the difference between data and information, let's go on to talk about what data analysis is. Data analysis is the process of analyzing data, finding patterns and drawing insights from the data. So we analyze data just to find patterns and draw insights. Data analysis is used in different sectors. We use it in healthcare, we use it in business, finance. In your personal life, you can use data analysis, right? So an example of using data analysis in your personal life is 
do you know data analysis helped me grow my tiktok account like i literally analyzed the data i was finding patterns in the data i was trying to draw insights by recording what content is doing better like i post content every day record how many views what engagement so from there i was gaining insights into content that is giving me more engagement the content where i gain more followers and i was just repeating the pattern basically and now i have over 27,000 followers by just analyzing the data i hope you understand the power of data now another example of data analysis in your personal lives is let me use myself as an example i used to have this body reaction and i went to the hospital the doctors told me you have to watch what you eat honestly i tried to watch what i had but i did not even know what was causing the reaction until i picked it up and i said i'm going to gather data and then analyze it i'm going to treat it as if i'm having a data analysis project and i started recording okay on monday for breakfast i had this for lunch i had this for dinner i had this and i'll record any day i get the reaction i'm gonna tick that day i added a box to tick that day and eventually i realized that taking milk was what my body was reacting to that is the power of data analysis and another beautiful thing is a lot of people analyze data on a day-to-day -day basis but we don't even know we are not officially a data analyst maybe because we've not made it official or because we don't know how to use the software tools so if you stick around in this video i'm going to show you how you can help people how you can monetize your data analysis skill you might have seen it online a couple of times you see data analysis you see data analytics and then you are confused which one am i learning is it data analytics or is it data analysis so i just explained what data analysis is is when you analyze the data to gain insight data analytics is like a journey on its own data analytics involves like so many faces it's not just one face data analysis is just part of the face of data analytics how that is not confusing in data analytics you ask questions like what problem am i trying to solve with this data that is the first step of data analytics then you move to preparing your data that's where you collect your data you collect it either through primary or secondary source that we talked about earlier then you process the data that's like cleaning your data sets and all of that and then now you move to the analyze phase the analyze phase is where data analysis comes in so data analysis is like the entire process why data analysis is just a phase it's just one part of data analytics and then you move to the share phase that's where you share the insights you gain from the data you already analyzed and then the company or yourself you ask based on whatever the insight is so now i hope when they ask you what is the difference between data analysis and data analytics you can now explain that so let's talk about a real life example so you see when you're watching netflix they recommend movies to you based on watch history this is an example of data analysis in action all right and a clothing store can track which size sells the most or location based insights so let's say i own a clothing brand i want to know which size i should restock more which size are people buying the most i have the data set i don't know how to gain insight into the data myself so i need a data analyst all right so that's what you basically do you go into the database and try to answer their business question they want to know what size they should restock now you go check the historical data to check for patterns and see which one they should restock and work on basically so now let's talk about why data analysis is important why is it important to learn data analysis or why is data analysis very important to businesses this analysis help businesses to make informed decisions so they don't just make decisions they will not just say oh let's just restock size size 10 no if they restock, restock size 10 by just vibe and inshallah trust me they might have the size 10 and nobody is gonna buy it right 
but if they check their historical data what are our customers buying more and they restock size 12 which the data is saying their customers buy more they are going to sell faster because size 12 is in demand a high percentage of their customer is wearing size 12 and that's the importance of data analysis right it improves efficiency and saves cost right we are more efficient when data is making the decision for us and it also saves us cost we don't need to restock what we don't need we will only restock what we need when we already analyze the data so it helps us identify market trends and customer behavior right lastly there is high demand for data analysts in every industry think of healthcare e-commerce literally every industry needs a data analyst to make sense of their data in this 90 days data analytics challenge we are going to be learning four software tools you need to know as a data analyst which is in high demand we have the first one is microsoft excel we have sql power bi and tableau in this challenge we are going to have hands-on projects practical case studies step-by-step -step tutorials and job ready portfolio building i hope you are as excited as i am about this tutorial let me know if you're ready for this challenge by commenting day one done in the comment section make sure you subscribe to this channel to stay on track and get ready for the day two series where we are going to talk about the data analysis process to analyze data what is the first thing we have to do after we do the first thing what's the second thing so a lot of people are always confused after their training they don't know what to do with the data they are confused they're like what do i do we are going to be explaining this in the next series there is also a paid community for mentorship live classes if you want to join the paid community see you tomorrow and bye